Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading so let's hop straight into it, okay? Let's see. Let's do these here. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, love, the highest white light. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. All right, you got somebody here that wants to apologize to you. This is somebody that maybe could have walked away from you at one time. They want to reconcile with you. This person wants to take accountability for their um, actions here. Let's see. Let's grab some of these here. All right, Spirit, what exactly did this person do? Because it says there's no excuse for my actions. So let's see what this person done did. This person sorry for. What's this person? What did, what did they do? Watch this person leave. Why did this person leave? This person left because it was something that they didn't want to share with you. This person had a whole lot of secrets. What was this? What secrets did they have? What was? What's this mean? I also, I'm also getting that maybe this person had a, a problem with opening up. They were juggling. They were juggling something or someone with you. And that what was hidden. What was they juggling? What was they juggling? Person juggling. Okay, I guess spirit don't want y'all to know that. I done shuffled so many times. I guess they don't want me to go into details on what it was here. Maybe because it's so many of y'all, it's different. It's different uh, things. That part ain't coming out. But this person here, this person didn't want to tell you the complete truth on what they was juggling and, and uh, things like that. Oh, my God. Hold on one second, y'all. See what else spirit? What else? 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 Okay, another thing that I told y'all, this person was afraid to admit certain things here. All right, 
this person felt like it was too scary here to admit that they had all of these feelings for you. All right. This, this person never been this deeply in love before here. Okay. I feel like this person want to know like all the feelings that they had for you. Like, do you have the same exact feelings for them here? Okay. But it's like your love is like out of this world. This person never experienced anything this deeply. It's new to them. And it's like where this person was, it's like they didn't know how to receive the love that you was giving. And they also didn't know how to give that love back to you. So it was difficult for them. And that actually could have been very triggering. It's because you're up here giving them this love. Well, they're feeling like they're incapable of loving you. Like, it was like a handicap or something. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how they um, felt here. But it's like they very much so loved you. They cared about you. They had all these feelings for you. You know, they had the utmost respect for you. It's just that they felt like they didn't know how to give you the love that you was giving them here. Okay? And it could have been a little triggering and whatever. And I also feel like at that time... They had so much that they were juggling, so I feel like they kept all these feelings, you know, to themselves here. Okay, but this person do want to know if you feel the same exact way. Like, do you do you really, really, really love them? Like, it's like that was another thing. Like, you was giving this person love, and they was wondering, like, was it really real? So this right here is definitely letting me know that women, people that this person dated okay in the past came into this person's life lied you know they had a good mouthpiece or something like that they manipulated this person they sold them a dream made it seem like they was gonna be together they really liked it them like that and it was either it was some it was for some type of beneficial reason it was either for money or for a cloud or you know, maybe they got with them and they really didn't like them like that. So they end up cheating like different things. Y'all, I don't feel like this person met somebody that was just truly faithful and loved them for them. So they like, hmm, do this person really love me? Like, what is it? You know? I keep replaying everything that happened. This person is replaying it. Y'all, this is kind of giving me the nine of swords. The nine of swords, You, it's like you're having sleepless nights. You, you're having a little bit of anxiety, thinking about things over and over. Um, you're replaying things that you said or you did, knowing that you hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Feeling a whole lot of guilt, feeling a whole lot of remorse on what you have done to cause pain for somebody else. Mental anguish and things like that. This is what this is giving me. I definitely feel like this person is in deep regret for the things that they said and the things that they did to you. Okay? Because this person was in a hurt place. They was moving with you like that is because this person was betrayed. Now, it, we all that we all got a story. We all done been through something. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all always say that it's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? I done been through this in my childhood. I done had this happen. Blah 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 blah. But I be telling y'all, everybody deals with pain, heartbreak, tra childhood trauma, and all of that differently. Hence, that's why some people become alcoholics, some people become drug addicts, uh, some people have sex addictions, gambling addictions, different things that they pick up to deal with the trauma that they have. Everybody can't deal with certain things and go on like ain't nothing happened. Some people ain't that strong. Y'all could be strong, you know what I'm saying? But everybody ain't like that. Some people end up having mental disorders, PTSD, bipolar disorder. They got to go get help or take medicine. Like, some people really can't deal with certain things, y'all. Some people ain't mentally strong like that. And unfortunately, this person been played. They done been used. They done been abused. They have been let down. And when you came in, it's like uh, everything that they have gave in these situations, they, they was on E. It was low. 
they were low. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they didn't have it to give their true love. Just the thing. They didn't have it to give their true love. I feel like this why this person wished that they would have been ready. That is why it is so important, y'all, to take a break. Like if you have been in a situation and you have been hurt, instead of jumping into something else new, it is definitely, definitely, definitely uh very important to take time out to heal after a breakup or after an ending sometimes it's best to be by yourself between six months and a year before you hop into something else you want to make sure that you have fully healed and gotten over what that person done did the feelings you know have like this many of course you can still have love for somebody you know but Making sure that it's it's completely gone, you're over it, you have gotten past the hurt, the betrayal, or whatever went on in this relationship here. Before you go towards somebody else, so you won't be projecting things onto onto the new person, making the person pay for something that a past person did, thinking that the new person going to do something that they did. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important to take that time, y'all. And I, I would say six months to a whole year. And I'm going to even say... Practicing abstinence, you know what I'm saying, between that, because sex confuses things, y'all. So even if you're not getting in a relationship soon, quickly going towards somebody else for sexual advances after a breakup is not good. Because you're, it's like that's how addictions form. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're not, because it feels good, right? So it's, it's you using something to help you get over it but you're not really healing it you're just pushing it to aside that that's just like picking up drugs or picking up alcohol or something like that you know what i'm saying so you want to make sure that you you know be careful doing things like that and with this person i feel like that's what they did you know what i'm saying but this person i feel like is in regret for the things that they did to you to their true love because this person looked at you as their true love here all right you got you challenge me in ways that make me grow, even though it's difficult. You challenge this person. You know what I'm saying? When you came into this person's life, I feel like you 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 loved on this person so much to the point where it's like, man, I don't even know if I have something to give. I feel like this person was like, I don't even know if I have something to gift this woman like i don't know if i have enough you know i have been used i have been played i have been betrayed so many times and i'm tired like i don't know if if there's anything left in me from my past you know and and i you know i feel like the more you loved on this person it was healing it was healing them you know even if it was triggering a little bit you know, you definitely could have triggered this person, but it was healing them. You challenged this person. It's like you seen the good in this person. You knew that this person was moving out of hurt. Okay? You knew it. You knew this person could give you what it is that you deserve, but you knew this person was still harboring all of their hurt and pain from their past and they didn't truly heal. Like you this person felt very seen with you because you knew it. Even if this person didn't move like it, walk like it, talk like it. They were hurt. They were hurt. This person could look like the comfort, most confident person in the room, but they wasn't. And you seen that. This person felt seen. That was another thing. Like this person couldn't, this person could not be vulnerable with you. You made this person feel vulnerable. Even if they didn't want to be vulnerable with nobody else, they, they were very vulnerable with you, even if they didn't want to be, because you seen past the facade. You seen them. Okay, <laughs> and that was another triggering thing. You could be like, you need to heal. Heal what? I don't need to heal nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that was, you know, another issue. Like, you seen this person traumas. You seen everything, and they couldn't hide it from you. They could hide it from everybody else in the world, but, baby, they couldn't hide it from you. Okay, and it's like this person love you. I feel like. When this person left, maybe not right away, maybe not that same day or that week, but eventually this person regret what they said and what they did and how they moved with you. 
And trust me, you 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 make this person want to go within, and you make this person um, want to change and actually heal. The thing is, this person wasn't extremely bad. I just feel like this person was moving from hurt and pain that they never got over. They weren't trying to. They, this person wasn't trying to just dog you out, and I don't even feel like they dog you out. I just feel like you wanted commitment. You wanted the best version of this person. This person wasn't seeing the best in themselves. They wasn't even loving themselves. They had a whole lot of self-doubt. So it's like you were trying to, you were seeing things in this person that they weren't even seeing in themselves. You know what I'm saying? So this person had to start seeing what you were seeing in themselves here. You know what I'm saying? So you made this person want to heal. You made this person want to go back and because sometimes you got to go back and relive those situations to bring it up so you can heal it. The things that you be having lying dormant, you got to go back and face it and heal it. How do you heal something that you scared of? You got to face it. You know what I'm saying? So you can get over it. You know, this person could have had relationship anxiety due to stuff that people did to them in the past. And you got to face it. You know what? This woman cheated on me. She betrayed me. She did this. She took my money. She did that. And then you got to ask yourself, what a part of me chose this type of woman? Why didn't I see it in the beginning? Did God give me red flags and I missed it? Like, how did I end up with this woman for her to even do me like this anyway? Then that's when you got to ask yourself, what a part of you chose this person? What a part of you comes to choose the same person time and time again? You know what I'm saying? What is it that you're missing? Because God do give us signs now. It's just sometimes we be ignoring it for certain reason. Do this person dress a certain way and we were blinded by that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like, what is it? Is it, is it, is it the, the, the intimacy part? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it. I got to say it like that, y'all, because, you know, YouTube and flag and stuff. But anyway, is it that? Is it the looks? Like, what is it? So you got to ask yourself, why is it that? I'm choosing the same type of spirit in different people. What am I missing? How am I constantly going through the same lesson? So then you got to go within and see what a part of you is attracting this same exact person to even get betrayed and used and hurt. And that is what this person had to do. I'm talking about they had to go deep. You know what I'm saying? This person want a second chance. This person love you. They want to let you know that they still love you. Because this person could have been acting out so much that you was questioning if this person love you. And you the intuitive one. You know, just like you could see this person. You knew this person love you. But the way that they was acting, you like, God dang. I know my intuition telling me that this person love me. But baby, the way he move, I, I, is my intuition on point? Because baby, he acting like he don't love me. Collector, this person was trying to hide it. He already felt seen. You already was reading him. He so you know what I'm saying? So he he had to act like you didn't know what you was talking about. That's how he would move and acting like you didn't know what you was talking about. And I felt like this is how other people missed it. Because other people didn't know that he was really a really vulnerable in a vulnerable place. They didn't know that he didn't love himself like that. They didn't know that he didn't have a whole lot of confidence. They didn't know it. You knew it, so he had to come harder trying to trying to convince you that you don't know what you're talking about. Right? Right? So that's what he did. All right? But this man was definitely in love with you. It wasn't infatuation. It wasn't lust. It wasn't, I got love for you, man, or a friend. No, this man ain't looked at you like that. This man loved you. He in love with you. He always loved you. But he, he tried to hide it. You know what I'm saying? But he wanted a second chance. It says, I want to share my life with you. This man want to share his life with you. Okay. What else do? This person longing for you. This person had childhood wounds here. Let's see, spirit. What is this? What happened in his childhood? It's just giving me he need healing. So it's not going into details here, okay? He just, Spirit is just saying the star. He just he just have to heal things that happened in his childhood. He have to heal it, all right? 
he just have to he have to heal those things, you know, so he won't hurt you again. It's things in his childhood, maybe that you even picked up on y'all by y'all being psychic and very intuitive. You knew it was certain things that happened to him in his childhood, y'all. And that was another thing that made him go harder on acting like he didn't care like that or you really didn't know what you was talking about because you could know things that nobody else know. You know, especially if this man was touched in any way or abandoned by his mother or father. Or you you could have mentioned something that happened that nobody else knew. And he like, wow. You, it made him feel some kind of way. It wasn't that you just did anything wrong, but you knew. The fact that you knew was the issue for them. Because you knew too much. When this person don't open up and share things like that, you knew it. So you make this person feel real vulnerable, like crawling up in the shell. Like, oh my God, they see me. They see it. They see it. It's like, they see it. They see me. I can't hide. Like, this person could have even cried. I really felt something I'm telling you. Like, oh Lord, they see me. They see the truth. When this person was trying to hide from the world on how he felt, you seen it. You know, this person dealt with some things ever since a child. But this person don't want to hurt you no more. This person want to come in and give you the same love that you was trying to give them in the beginning. All right, so this person is doing some healing. So I will tell y'all, don't rush this person healing. Don't rush this person to come back. Let this person deal with these things. You know, you don't want to rush it. And then this person go back into doing the same things. You know what I'm saying? Let them completely heal and purge things and let the past go and actually heal from it so they can come back in healed and give you what you deserve. But if you rush it, you're going to go back in the same cycle with this person because they ain't going to be quite ready. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not telling you to put your life on hold. Just wait around in the house, not doing nothing, not going out, not having fun, not going on vacation, waiting on this person. Now, I ain't saying that. Still get up, get cute, go out. You know what I'm saying? It's even okay to date. You ain't got to date and, and be intimate with folks like that. You could go out and have a drink. You could go out and get a bite to eat and it's just that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's That's okay. You ain't got to get into nothing serious or nothing like that. You can make friends, you know, and that's just it. You Or if you don't even want to do that. You could just go out with friend, your friends or your family or something like that. and Or even yourself if you don't be around people like that. Go out to a movie, to an arcade. Go paint and sip or whatever it's called. Just do something. Okay? But you ain't, you ain't got to be sitting there in the house like, Oh my God, is he coming tomorrow? God, is he coming back in the week? No, you don't want to be like that. Because you're going to be holding it up. And you're going to be making yourself miserable. Then you're going to be causing yourself to have anxiety. You know, you know so you don't want to do that. All right? But know that this person, day and night, this person is thinking about you. Day and night. You could be feeling this person a whole lot. You could be thinking about this person a whole lot. When you're thinking about this person, it's because they're thinking about you a whole lot here. Okay? I'm talking about a whole lot. All right? I'm talking about... Even if you going out, even if I'm talking about even in your dreams or baby, no matter what you doing, it's like, oh, my God, why I can't get this person out of my mind? It's because they're thinking about you. It says I long for you day and night. I'm consumed by my desire for you. Our chemistry is amazing. The chemistry between you and this person is I'm talking about out of this world. I don't know why I heard off the charts. Off the charts. It ain't even no 1 through 10, baby. It's off the grid. It's off the charts. That's what I'm hearing, baby. You hear me? Like, I'm talking, I don't even think it's no number. She, Baby, this person, I'm talking about the chemistry between y'all is, like, amazing. This person can't, they can't let it go. They can't let you go. They longing for you. They thinking about you. They missing you. They want a second chance with you here. Okay? They, 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 but when this person come in this time, baby, they gonna do it's right. Let's see, Spirit. What exactly they going to do when they first come back in? This person definitely went through a transformation, y'all, with this death card. They're going through a transformation here. Okay. What's this What's this Queen of Cups? I feel like you all helped each other grow spiritually. Like, both of you all had to do some healing to grow. 
Not just this person, collective, but you did too. What's this Queen of Cups? Yeah, I feel like you're protecting your energy right now. You all could have went through like another spiritual awakening as well, y'all. You know, you'll, you you can go through multiple spiritual awakenings. So you could have went through another spiritual awakening um, as well. Okay. But I feel like you're protecting your energy here. Okay. I feel like you feel free. All right, I feel like you feel free, you feel liberated, you feel good, and I also feel like God has strengthened your psychic abilities or gave you some more type of gifts or something like that in this last awakening you could have had here, okay? But I feel like you're protecting your energy at all costs. I, I feel like God is definitely protecting you a little bit more, okay? And, and he's sending his angels to protect you, surround you. So you got a whole lot of protection up right now here because your gifts have upgraded okay and and the angels are protecting you right now they're protecting your energy all right so nobody can really penetrate your aura like that okay uh yeah that's what they're doing so all of a sudden after a period of maybe feeling a little down low energy and things like that you could all of a sudden feel real good and high spirits high energy feeling good like you could do anything it's because you you could have just came out of a spiritual awakening and now you out of it you're feeling good you're feeling liberated you're feeling free you know what i'm saying you're you're also very loving very kind this person look at you as like the perfect wife but this person knows that you're somebody that's very balanced very grounded and you protect your energy so he know he got to come in the same way or you ain't dealing with it Yeah, this person actually want to defend you. This person, this person look at you as this queen of cups, okay? And he feel like he got to come in and protect you too, okay? Because you're very nice. You're very kind and loving and stuff like that, okay? But I do feel like something is turning around in your favor. He wants something to turn around um, in his favor here, okay? A whole lot of good luck. The will of fortune here, okay? Good karma is coming in. So whatever it is that you put out, you're getting back, okay? You're getting back all of those good things that you have done, you know, for people and things like that. And you're getting it back. Like, God is getting ready to bless you. Definitely um, in love here, okay? You could have always gave out a whole lot when it comes to loving other people, but maybe people never gave you that back, and now is your time. Like, now you're finna get, get the love back that you always gave other people, you know? Yeah, somebody feels like they lost out. This person feels like maybe they could have lost out. This person is constantly thinking about the past and feeling like that. Feeling like maybe they lost a good thing. Maybe some, For some of them, they feel like it's over because maybe... I, I feel like this is just in, in their head. Because this is before this person even reach out. It's like they're feeling like... You know, maybe you don't want them no more. You're not going to want a relationship with them no more. Even if you talk to them, they feel like maybe you're not going to want them like you did before. It's just something that I feel. This 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 is this person's thoughts. Okay? Because I don't feel like whoever this reading is for, I don't feel like y'all talk to this person like that. And if you have, I feel like it's like, hey, and bye. Like, it's not a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I feel like this, this is person's thoughts. This person is manifesting a new beginning. Okay, you all could be doing very well right now. Okay, the Queen of Wands here. I feel like after this awakening you just went through here, okay, like I said, you have been upgraded. Like, y'all are very psychic. You're very sensitive. I feel like you're sensitive. Your skin is sensitive, okay, or something like that. Your your smell, your senses, senses are heightened at this point. The scent, the taste. Your vision, I'm talking about everything, is, is heightened at this point here, okay? You can pick up on a whole lot. 
Like you could be sitting next to somebody and you can you could taste corn. You could know that they had corn for dinner the night before. Like it has real your gifts have really heightened. You know what I'm saying? You like God, damn, why am I why am I tasting peach cobbler? They go, oh my God, I had leftover peach cobbler this morning. <laughs> you like God, dang, I just tasted the peach cobbler she had that morning. You might not have even seen this person eat no peach cobbler, but you tasted it because you pick up on stuff like everything is heightened at this point. And that's why the angels are protecting you right now. You're staying in a high vibration. They're protecting your energy. You know what I'm saying? They're protecting you from any kind of attacks people can be sending your way. They're protecting you right now here. So some of you all could be a little bit isolated. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you may not be around a whole lot of people. I'm just saying a whole lot of people. You could be staying away from places that's very crowded because you're very sensitive right now. So God is keeping you away from people like that. You know, you could be inside, not saying that you need to be inside every day. It's okay to get a bite to eat, but I don't feel like you're going to no, no busy mall. You ain't going like maybe in your downtown area when it's the busiest. Like I, I ain't, I don't feel, I don't see you doing that. It could cause you to feel like you have an anxiety or anxiety attacks because you're picking up on so many different energies. You got one person over here happy, one person over here sad, one person over here mad. So you picking up on all these things. You like, ooh, ooh, ooh. You pa panicking. You having an attack. And it ain't even you. It's just you picking up on pe different people's energies. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like God is kind of protecting you right now as he's upgrading your gifts because they definitely upgrading. Okay, you could even do something in the public out of that that has something to do with these gifts. Okay, with the Queen of Wands. But yeah, you got somebody that's getting ready to come towards you. Okay, they're making movement towards you. Eight of Wands here, the Sun, because you're you're this person's happiness here in the Chariot. They want to balance things out here with you. All right, and I also feel like with this Chariot, this person has overcame any obstacles or things. Um, that was in their life that was keeping them away from you. Okay. But that is all I have for you all collective. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you and I do too. Bye.